Hey guys, welcome to Winecraft. My name is Mario Luna with MarioLunaSalm.com where we develop the sommelier in you. This week we're going to go on an acid trip. An acid trip with wine. So we're going to talk about acidity and that brightness that you feel in the back of your gums or that salivation note that you feel throughout the mouth. Some people are a fan of, some people are not a fan of. So we're going to talk about three varying levels of acidity without opening a bottle of wine. Well, I'm going to use iced tea, Arnold Palmer, and lemonade. And based on those three examples, we'll give you a suggestion of what white wine for you to try. Let me open up my notes and let's get started. All right, now let's do the acid trip. First of all, let's go over that definition one more time. Acidity, it's that salivation that you feel in the mouth along with that zippiness feel in the back of the teeth. Mmm, some people love it, some people don't. So for my examples of this into wine, we have iced tea, Otto Palmer, and lemonade. So the more lemonade that's added to the mix heightens the acidity brings out much more of that brightness in the finish and I'm going to start with the low acidity where you when you taste that example you're going to try an iced tea with a little bit of lemon and the best way I can describe that is with trying in a wine format good birch demeanor it's a peach rose petal grapefruit lychee fruit it's big it's robust but it's very very soft where you don't have that brightness feel it almost feels kind of fatty or flabby of a wine but I love it mm -hmm. so and next up is Arnold Palmer where it's half iced tea half lemonade and this is the best way I can describe medium acidity and you get a little bit of the brightness not too much but it's noticeable, but not so much where you get that zippiness in the back of the teeth either. And a great way that I can express this to you is by enjoying a Pinot Grigio. It's very uh, lemony, a little bit of an almond tinge to it. But the brightness at the end, it's soft still, but it gives it a little bit of a character. It get, keeps the mouth salivating just a touch, and that neutral balance of acidity makes it a very popular wine to the masses and then finally for acidity nut jobs like me I love high acidity and the best way I can describe that is why when you taste a lemonade that brightness is instantaneous that salivation point you feel it right away just like when you taste a Sauvignon Blanc yeah especially the ones from New Zealand where they just pop right at you oh, I love it though but that is how we go on Mario Luna Song's version. Well, I hope you enjoyed the information from this week's wine craft called Acid Trip. And hopefully the levels of tea, Arnold Palmer, lemonade that best showcase the levels of acidity can determine the best white wine for you. So for me, I love Sauvignon Blancs until I get that heartburn, you know, from and, uh, in, in, like my mouth is just getting just handles so much of acidity, I don't know, it's Damascus in me. But anyway, let me know what you think. At the bottom of the page, we have suggestions for you if you're interested in trying these wines. And understand the different levels of that acidity. Give us some feedback, let me know what you think. We're gonna, have, we're gonna continue on doing these every week on winegeographic.com. Well, until next week, enjoy your trip.